Hello to the pessimistic, optimistic, and everyone in between. My name is Connor Philippi. Welcome back to the Minnesotan Sports Podcast. And I'm going to say it for the first time, the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to the Western Conference Finals. Just, I I, I am like watching the last few seconds of the game. And it's weird because it's just like, I almost felt like calm watching the last few seconds. Don't get me wrong, I was yelling at my phone screen when I was actually watching it happen and like the, all the three-point shots that last shot by Ant to put us up by 10 I was definitely yelling loudly then but like watching the last few seconds take away I felt this weird calm and I think it's just because I'm still processing that, that this is actually something that could happen because I, I like I still can't believe like this is a, a Minnesota sports team that just pulled this off we did everything that you'd think a Minnesota sports team would do up until that fourth quarter. Like we got into that situation. We were down 20 in a huge game. You know, we got our hopes up in game six and, and for the second you're thinking we did all that just to be let down again. You know, our biggest contributors, Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobert like just completely disappear off the face of the earth and are not hitting their shots. Of course, like this is what the, the the Vikings twins wolves and wild always do. They take these situations and they just when you think they might make it to that next level and reach that elite status, they let you down in that big game. And we didn't do that. And it was unbelievable to watch. And what was so crazy about it was that, like I said, Anthony Edwards had a bad game. And not first of all, Anthony Edwards was not shooting the ball well. He, you know, had a really rough game overall. And yet, you are not looking at him as some sort of liability. Like, we, even with how bad he played... You can't say that we won in spite of him. I'm not saying we necessarily won tonight because of him, but when it really mattered, you know, the mark of a champion obviously is putting up great numbers and playing huge games and getting a lot of points when it matters. But another mark of a champion and a, a really elite player in the league is even when you had the bad games, that fourth quarter is when you show up and you still hit your big shots. You still come up with that big defensive takeaway. That's exactly what Anton did. And strangely enough, him having the rough game he had and then putting up that display in the fourth honestly makes me feel even better about the player he is. That, well, maybe if you put up 40 or 50 and won the game for that reason, that would be a pretty big factor too. But like, you know what I mean? It just shows that fight. And even when you have a bad game, you have to lock down and take what you believe is yours. Even when your confidence is wavering and your shot is not there, you still drain that three in that big moment when you can put your team up by four possessions. And you did just that. And on top of that, it's just the fortitude and the just will to win that this entire team has. Edwards and Gobert were awful tonight for the most part. Again, Edwards came up in the clutch, but it was the rest of our team that rallied around. Nas Reed had another great game. Carl Anthony Towns, like people saw him have a couple bad games in the playoffs and just started clowning on him like they always do. Carl Anthony Towns is always the scapegoat. Yes, he might not have all of the clutch ability, and he is sometimes inconsistent and there are some reasons why you doubt the amount of money the, the Wolves have given him. But he is way too much of a scapegoat for how he performed in a game like this. In this game seven, he was great. He did kind of have some, some fouls where you're like, come on, man, you can't foul out because of something like that when he swatted away for no reason. But other than that, he played phenomenally. And this entire team just picked up the players that were struggling and when your best player, and, pro and probably the best player in this league right now, if not top three, when that player on your team is having the worst game he's had in the playoffs in a game seven, and he's, what was he, six for, six for 24 throughout the game, and you know he doesn't have a shot, 
what are you going to do as a team? You have to pick him up. And that's exactly what we did. And it's just, it's such a weird thing to see, not only to win a game seven when it really mattered versus the defending champions that know how to win in those situations and you just outplay them, but also to be able to do that with your top two guys, honestly, having rough games. It shows the depth of this team. It shows the will to win of this team. And it shows all the qualities I need to see of potentially a championship team. I'm not saying I'm locking it in that we're going to win the championship, but we have all the, the tools to do it now. We're going now to play the Mavs. The series, I think, starts on Wednesday. And we've got Kyrie Irving. We've got uh, Luka Don Doncic. Don Don uh, I think is how you pronounce it. And it should be a really good series. I just hope we don't underestimate this one because that's the danger, right? You go in and you defeat the defending champions. You go to game seven. You prove everyone wrong. And then you just can't be like, okay, phew, we can breathe a sigh of relief. The big, tough series is over. No, the Mavs just took overtook the Thunder and the Thunder were killing the, the Wolves all season long. This is a worthy opponent for potentially making it to the finals here, and uh, you have to make sure you play them seriously. Uh, so so it should be a really good series. I expect this series to go six or even seven again. Uh, it would be crazy to have a, a game seven in Minnesota to try and make it to the finals for the first time ever. But yeah, second time we've ever been to the Western Conference Finals, second time we've ever won a game seven in the playoffs, and Kevin Garnett's birthday, of course, and the anniversary today of the last time we did all that, all those things. And so it was just a really cool moment, a huge moment in Minnesota sports, because it feels like this is an energy in this state in terms of sports that we haven't seen in quite some time. Even with the, the twin success this last season, it, it's just, it, there's something different about this year. And the Wolves look like they're actually a contending team now. And it's just really exciting to watch. I was initially not going to do raw reactions to the postseason because I, I, I thought people might think that I was like a hypocrite for only starting to do reactions to the Wolves once we, get, we became good. The reason why I don't make videos about the Wolves in terms of like analysis and stuff is just because I don't know nearly as much about the NBA specifically as other sports that's why i usually just do the N nfl and mlb same thing with the nhl i'm a diehard wild wild fan but i don't do too much within the wild because i don't know hockey as a sport like the intricacies of it very well and so i don't want to like just throw out general information and just it it wouldn't be a good video and i do the same thing with the wolves i'm a very big wolves fan don't get me wrong but i just don't have the like NBA knowledge just across the board to be able to give good analysis of it. So that's why I never make Wolves videos. And so I didn't want to start the playoffs and be like, oh, all of a sudden I'm a fan because I've been a fan this whole season. I've been a fan ever since I was young. Um, but eventually I was like, you know what? I Even if people think I'm being hypocritical by just starting to make videos now, I still I have to react to the seventh game of the series and maybe I'll make raw reactions the rest of the way for the conference finals. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, it should be a really good series against the Mavs. And we'd play either the Celtics or the Pacers for the finals if we make it to that point. But it would be the first time we've ever done it. So hopefully we do. But huge win against the defending champions. And Jokic and his arm to the sternum every time he drives in is finally done. He is a very annoying player to watch when he's playing your team. And I'm glad that that's over and we can we can make it past him. But thanks for watching this one. Let me know in the comments how you reacted to this huge win for the Wolves. And I'll see you on the flip side.